Hi guys, we're uh, just on the brink of Derby Day and it's uh, we welcome a special guest, Steve Fletcher. Good Steve, mate. how are you? Good mate, good thanks. How are you Steve? Hi Aaron. So it's always good to see you. Yeah, you too. Uh, yeah, for those that don't know, we're here to talk up uh, Derby Day 100K. It's the top betters biggest tournament um, ever, and it's the biggest tournament, obviously, in Australian racing history. There's $100,000 guaranteed by top better, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty hard to... Worth winning. Well, that's what, I guess the point why we've got you here today is how hard is it to um, get set for $100,000 these days? You or, can't. or 60 for the winner. Okay. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. They couldn't bet you to win 100,000 anyway. Yeah. So, um, well, this tournament is um, basically it's 60% of the uh, of the of the total pool will go to the winner. So, yep. top better they've guaranteed 100k, which is great. But um, look, depending how we go between now and Saturday, it could be up to 120, 150, who knows, 200. And um, yeah, we've got Steve here to talk about. It. You've touched on some tournaments in your time. Um, with Top Better? Yeah. It's I've never won one though. You haven't won one yet? Waited for this one. It, this is it's the one. very strange I've noticed, Stephen. You've got one of the best tipping services that we provide, yet right. you haven't come close in the tournament. Why oh, is that? Wow. Yeah, it's controversial. It's a question, <laughs> eh? We'll see. Well, let's, let's okay. ask that question next week. We'll see how we go. This we'll week. see how we go. Yeah, yeah. no heads down for this one. That's good. We've, got, um, we've got a few teams as well, just to quickly mention about. And one team is uh, Team Fletcher. What yep. are we... Uh, I think it's already sold out. Sold out. What, what the boy, basically, no, no strategies released. No strategy released. No, There's no like re poker. no rebuy-ins for the team. So what you've got, um, if there's any available still, you've got um, well, you've got the young guns, which is myself, yourself, and Dallas. How did you get into the young guns, Dallas? Eh? You got your own team, have you? We got our own team. Good. Yeah, and the yeah. team Potter. Team Potter. Darren Potter, who Side obviously best. is killing it. And uh, then we've got Glenn Pollard as well, Team Pollard. So you can jump in. If you can't afford the uh, 1100 to buy in, you've got options for to buy 10%, 100 bucks, 110 to get into each of those teams. Yeah. Or you can even just form your own. Like if you've got a couple of mates, it's four of you, it's 250. Yeah, and that's what we're basically here to talk about today. Like for guys at home who can't afford the 1100 to buy in, just get some mates together. Yeah. It's a pretty good chance to have a good crack at 60,000, if not more. As you said, you're a bit of a Derby Day star in your time. Any, well, any last thoughts? Last year was a... Um, you, you're probably going to carry, carry the young guns here, because I, I, don't, I don't normally go too good in these tournaments. Yeah, I look, always look forward to Derby Day. Big fields down the outside of Flemington. It's my style of racing where I yep. seem to do my best. Have you got the, the say in the young guns tournament? Do, I have do you have the final say on what to do with it? I think I should. I'm going to hand it over to Aaron and uh, Dallas, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Very interesting. But uh, look, you start with basically how it works you start with 10,000 better bucks. And uh, look, we're seeing normally to win these big tournaments because of the, the rebuy situation, um, maybe around 100, 150 will get you warm. But like, if you get to 200. I think if you can turn your 10 into 200, I mean, that, yeah, you're getting very close to the mark. Yeah. And um, would you be recommending a few rebuys if you have uh, any of your friends? Not releasing yeah, strategies. Out wide? No, you asked why I haven't won it, but that's why. So no strategies. No strategies. You should rebuy, though. If you're out, you're out. You're out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A couple of roughies or something build your bank up. Yeah, exactly. But basically, basically we one or two good roughies that get up on Derby Day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the action, you can join right now over at topbetter.com. Uh, and basically, yeah, enter enter there, buy an, a ticket. There's been a few weeks where people have been winning in. There's already 30 in there. Big Jezza, friend of ours, won his way in. Yeah, Big Jezza last week, good on him. He's, uh, he's in the tournament. I know Snowy and Kingsley and I'm sure some of those other guys. Michael Cook, he's, he's uh, out Yeah, Cookie. Yeah, so uh, you'll be taking on some of the big guns in Australian punting. And um, I think you said just before we had lunch that um, it's a great day to have a bet, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. Enjoyable. Any Enjoyable. good stories do you remember from Derby Day? Are you any plunges and stuff? Or is I had it... a good result on reparations last year. W. Lorden, my favourite rider. <laughs> favourite rider. <laughs> yeah. Who the unfashionable he? W. Lorden. I don't know. Well, oh, Andrew Banks. I think he's an Englishman. I think he was English. Did he come over from England? I think he did. Yeah. yeah. He looked. He had that European style. Mm. Yeah, Andrew okay. Banks was good. Yeah. I backed him, and I think I said I backed him on the horse called Timothy in 1987. Yep. It was the same one. <laughs> the same guy. Yeah. He's still running yeah, around. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Derby Day is one of the great days to go around. A couple of um, 
Well, there's a couple of. Have you had? A, you've had a chance to maybe look at the Victorian Derby. There's a horse called Tarazino, who's uh, about two twenty, two thirty. Yeah, I think there's a there's a horse in the field that looks uh, very good odds. Oh really? Yeah, there's one. Oh, tell us, Aaron, please. No, no. The punters we're, we're at home. We'll be releasing. We will not be releasing. <laughs> no good. No, oh, no damn. good. Well, okay. Once again, Glenn, I think we, he's looking to win his first tournament. He's run second, he's run third. Well, that's right. If you do buy into Glenn Pollitt's team, you're guaranteed to be SP favourite. So that's got to mm. be like a some yeah. sort of positive. He's run second and third, has he? He's yeah. really he's good strike rate. He's, yeah, he's a, he, he must always be, seems to... He's a poker He graphs, yeah. yeah he's he's grass. He lives at um, poker when yeah, he's not at the races. That's... So it's that real strategy, isn't it? He's very yeah, good how would you frame the market between the top issue on the punters? I'd, I'd have him favourite. Well, him I favorite? think it's a poker mentality, you got to know. So where, where would Kingsley sit? Oh, he'd be about the same price as me. Kings doesn't play poker, but we've got to adapt. you got to adapt. Yeah. Adapt to what about the young guns? Can we adapt? No, millions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to lay in millions. <laughs> but um, look, as we said, jump on board. If you can't afford the 1100, there's a um, obviously the teams, but I think they're pretty much almost sold out. And you can get access to the teams on the Punish Show website. And yeah. Um, yeah, have a crack. It's the biggest thing in racing, well, especially in tournament history. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to have Maddie. Maddie Johns has come on board as an ambassador, so that's pretty cool. Mm. But um, yeah, only a few days to go, so. Steve, we wish you luck. Yeah, thanks. Wish you luck and um, good luck, yeah. guys. No, no, good luck. Thank yeah, you. It's all serious. We'll talk about a side bet after the <laughs> after the footage. Is yeah, gone. so we're going to get stuck into the form for Saturday, and um, yeah, topbetter.com. It's your way to go. Cheers. Good luck. Yeah. Cheers.